Hello friends! Today we'll be talking about foundations. Some hard-hitting questions that we'll be covering today are What kind of undertone does your skin have? How does your skin type match foundations? And we'll be looking at the foundations that I already own. So I know what you're thinking, Alyssa, this is your second video. Why are you presenting us this look? I only had one class today and if I take my glasses off to avoid that glare, I have the little glasses lines. So no, we're not going through that today. You get this hat, my winosaur hat, that was $3 at Kohl's and he's holding a little wine glass. So you're welcome. So back to foundations. I'll be showing you the foundations I have. First up, we have Max Matchmaster Foundation in the shade 1.0 because my skin is very, very light. So this was about $50 a couple years ago. I got it at the mall where I live. Um, yeah, this shade has gotten too light for me, so I mix it with this Bare Minerals. Um, bare skin, pure brightening and serum foundation. Serum foundation must mean very oily and not at all covering. This is in the shade bare satin. So as you can tell, I have beef with this foundation. It is pure oil, just slips right off. It. Let me show you. Let me just show you this monstrosity. Look, look how disgusting that is. Any of my other things are not this disgusting. You want to know why it's so gross? Because when you tip it over, it comes out in drops. And then, look, it just goes right back down. No, no. Look at the lid, for Pete's sake. Gross. Not my fault. Not my fault. It was a bad foundation. But together, I put them together to deepen this one up. And then it kind of makes it more oily and more spreading. So... There's that one. I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, Lumini, Luminati foundation in the shade N12 Neutral. This one was like under $15 at Target. This one, I really like this line because they covered all your undertones. If you don't know what an undertone is, you have your skin. You have your skin color, but under your skin is a little hint of another color. These colors could be pink slash red, yellow, and blue slash purple. So your pink slash red is your warm, yellow is neutral, and blue slash purple is your cool. And now your skin tones, now when you're looking for a foundation, you also have to match your foundation to your undertones as well to kind of make it more natural and kind of like make it the best matching to your skin tone. So this one was neutral, so it's more yellow because I feel that I'm a more yellow skin tone, even though my face is pretty pink. But we're getting to that. This one is Revlon's Color Stay Full Cover. So this one is a full coverage foundation. It's gonna be thicker than the these ones that just kind of move around the bottle. So this one is thicker so it kind of layers on heavier than the others. And this one is matte ivory. I think this one was more of a pink tone because I wanted to see if that matched me better than a yellow tone. I bought this one just last summer. So yeah, I use full coverage for more like fancier outings, like date night and anniversary night. And then the, I use these ones just for work or just out and about felt like doing makeup. Yeah, so when you want to go into a foundation, you also want to think about your skin type. Skin types are oily, combination, and dry. So if you have oily skin, you have to wash your face a couple at least once more than just morning or night a day. And your foundation should be more of a dry one because if you have an oily foundation and you already have oily skin that's just going to be oil and oil and the rest of your makeup's just going to melt off and for a combination you have kind of i feel like it, that's more of a t-zone so your forehead and your nose so the t is going to be dry 
or oily and then your cheeks would be more dry or oily like the opposite so it's a combination and then with more dry skin like myself I have to use a lot of moisturizers because if I don't like my skin just kind of it's flaky and it's like rough so those are skin and so with the dry skin you would want to use more of an oily one aka this one so oily do not like yeah so I know last video I got a big fat zero zero views and I I know this one's gonna be zero too but you know what? it's fine I'm enjoying myself so have fun not watching this jokes on you if you did watch it you got me a view jokes on you <laughs> okay bye friends